mine's Facebook. Hello, Facebook. I was dissing you. Hopefully it looks absolutely fine today. I hope that we can see each other the right way round for a change. And hello to everybody on YouTube who is watching. Very nice to have the pleasure of your company. I was just saying to our friends on Instagram here, I'm poof. If you're watching me live, it's uh, lunchtime on Monday, but I feel like I've done a week's work already because I was up really early prepping to do something on this morning, which I've just finished. So literally I was down in the kitchen, now racing upstairs to do a bit of bedroom beauty. So looking forward to that because I'm gonna be tuning in to one of my favorite people, and I know that you love him too, Rupert, the one of the founders of Delilah Cosmetics, because being Monday, it's Makeup Monday, it's Makeover Monday, and we've got some lovely magical makeup tips. So really looking forward to being with him. And we're gonna talk about bronzers and kind of getting your glow on, because hopefully, the sun will start to shine. What is it they've said? June is gonna be one of the hottest on record. So yeah, roll on June. So if you can't wait, for the natural glow then let's see if we can recreate it and of course it's much safer to give yourself a little bit of bronze look rather than actually to tan your skin hi there fiona glad you enjoyed that on this morning hi christina hi angela lovely lovely to have everybody here so let me just check that i have got all my comms working properly um yeah, I think so. Mm, why is that not loading properly? So I have to say a big hi to Lainey, who is on Facebook this morning. Hi, Lainey, my lovely. I know that Lainey will be putting up links to everything that we talk about. And um, we do have a great discount code for Liz Loves for Delilah Cosmetics. So that's really good. No, this hasn't loaded properly. So I'm just going to try it again and see if we can get that up. Here we go. There we are. That seems to be working properly. Yeah, so Delilah amazing we're going to get 20% off okay so keep that in mind when you listen to our chat if there's anything that we talk about that you fancy 20% off and that's off their single products so not the sets that are already discounted but the single products that we talk about and I've got a lot of lovely things here you possibly can't see because it's slightly out of shot um, but oh yes gosh lots of questions my goodness okay I'll see if I can get through as many as I can but let's crack on shall we Should see if we can get uh, Rupert in the house let me just go to see if Rupert I think you need to request to join my video let us see uh, yeah hopefully you will hopefully you will request and then I will be able to go live with you so in other news what have we got coming up today actually one of the things that I was going to do for my live um, is I've got some of these lovely headbands do you remember Annie Sohn um, so Sanson and Reed is her Instagram and she has kindly given us a 10% discount on her accessories. She's got really lovely things, beautiful dresses. She does a really fun Instagram live every day. I think she does it just after me so we don't compete with each other which is good. Um, but I love her things and her headbands are great because they just transform your look really easily especially if you're having a bad hair day. So whatever your hair type, long hair, short hair, dark hair, grey hair, doesn't matter. And just lots and lots of different ones and they're not expensive. And if you use Liz Loves, we do get 10% off those. And also her accessories, so her belts as well, which are really nice. Um, so I'm wondering which to use. That is, that's a bit glitzy maybe, do you think, for a Monday? Um, that's one of my favourites. I love this one. It's just seems to go with everything. This is really nice too, this linen one for the summer with that little kind of knot. But maybe, maybe I'll go for this with the blue. What do you think with my blue dress? This isn't a Spiga dress, by the way. I know lots of you have been asking. Um, so a Spiga is a really great British ethical fashion brand. Truly ethical. I know a lot of people kind of pay lip service. It's a bit of an overused word, isn't it? But they are really good. And again, if you use Liz Loves, you get free PMP with them. So let me just... Now, Annie, when I'm wearing headbands, she always says, you know, don't wear it like a schoolgirl. Don't kind of pull your hair back like that. Because she says, actually, one of the best ways to wear it, a bit like the Duchess of Cambridge, is just sort of to place it on your head like that. So, but maybe, because I'm going to be doing makeup, I'm actually using it to keep the hair off my face. So I might actually just do a bit of that. Okay, just to get my hair, my hair off. And keep myself prepped. Now I've already got some makeup on because I was on telly so I had to put some makeup on this morning. Um, so I'm hoping that we're going to be able to build on an existing makeup look. So let's see. Um, Delilah Cosmetics. There we go. Let's see if we can get Rupert 
in the house to join us for a lovely makeover makeup Monday. Now I did click accept, so hopefully, apologies on um, Facebook and YouTube, you obviously won't be able to see um, Rupert, but hopefully you will be able to hear him. And that's the most important thing. And I've got lots of things here, so I've got really excitingly all these sort of different bronzers and things but you know I'm always a bit nervous about using bronzers because I'm a bit worried that I'm going to go orange and I don't really want that <laughs> so it's just about how to get hopefully a subtle glow right now um Rupert I have sent you a request so let me just resend it and hopefully that will work in the meantime, we can talk amongst ourselves, can't we? So also to say, Ruby Hammer, my lovely friend Ruby. Um, oh, it says you're unable to join, Rupert. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe you come off Instagram and go back on again. Maybe we can do that. Hopefully your Wi-Fi is good. Mine seems to be pretty good. I haven't got anybody home at the moment, so I've got the Wi-Fi signal all to myself. Excellent, hopefully. But it is cloudy and we're in the middle of fields here, so we do have to rely on the good old interweb to give us a bit of connection. Um, but yeah, Ruby Hammer, who I love, who has all these really cute kind of little magnetic-y brushes and things. Um, so we do have a Liz Loves with her as well, 15% off all her accessories. So if you're into makeup, do check her out. I've actually got sat on my dressing table here, one of her little pots, makeup pots, which I put all my brushes and bits and pieces. And there's a great little nail kit as well, which I really like. So if you want to see Ruby for real, she features, in the current issue of the magazine. So we often do a kind of meet the maker or you know female founder, and she is somebody who I've known for a long time. We worked out that we've probably known each other for about 30 years. So that is the glamorous Ruby Hammer, and her next big birthday is 60, if you can believe it. Uh, and she is a great makeup artist. She's been you know in the trade for a long, long time. And she had a makeup brand called Ruby and Millie, which you may remember. I think it was sold in Boots for a while. Anyway, she's gone back into the makeup world with a brand, but it's accessories based, and, and I love her things. So if you want to read all about Ruby and her journey, then make sure that you grab the current issue. And I always get asked this, we're not in shops anymore. So if you want to see the magazine, you do have to subscribe. So we send it with free PMP and a discount. So it's really good. And we've got a lovely subscription service, Warners, who look after us. So just go to lizardwellbeing.com and you can sign up for that. And then you will also then get the new issue. You can either choose to start now. If you haven't got this one, you can just then get that one sent to you ahead of time. And then our new issue, which will be, so this one is May, June. So the next one will be July, August. So we're just busy putting that together, my team and I, at the moment. Right, okay, let us see Delilah Cosmetics. There you go. So I'm going to try again. Hmm. Let me go. There we go. Come on, I'm sending you a request. Send it. Yes! Oh. Phew! <laughs> Hello, lovely man. How are you? I'm a little stressed. I know. Join the I've club. Been all the buttons on the phone. You oh, just, let me in. Hi. You just have to stay calm, you know. It's, <laughs> you know, I always say to my kids, you know, well, is there any blood? Okay. Is it broken? And Close. if the answer to those two questions are no, then I think, Close. right, so let's put it into perspective. We'll be fine. How are you doing? Thank you. I'm very well. I'm very well now. Yes, Good. I'm very well now. Well, I'm Lovely glad that... to see you. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, ha is happy birthday in order? Oh, thanks. Well, it was last Monday. So, yeah, it's my birthday, end of birthday week, or it's, yeah, my, my birthday oh, month. I know people who just say, well, you know, every day this month's going to be... Month? The Why whole month? The whole month. I'll take it. I'll, I'll totally Happy take birthday. it. Thank and you. And it's lovely to see you again. It's great to have you back here because you were a real hit, I have to say, um, with my Thank lovely you. community here. And Can tell I, us... So listen, just on that note, yeah. I, I want to say thank you. First, I want to say thank you to you for, for having us, us on last time. And then I want to say thank you to your wonderful community as well because... Oh. Um, 
they've, they've come along and visited us. They, they've purchased some Delilah, but they've gone above and beyond. We've had some lovely comments on the website oh, about fantastic. the products as well. So thank you, thank you. Thank you to you, and, and oh, thank you to all your lovely followers and sub subscribers great. as well. We're, Lots of we're, we're, we're so thrilled to be part of your community. Well, for those who missed um, the first live that we did together, do you want to just give us a quick recap on, on you and your background I, and the brand? I can do. I can. You know, I had a quick look actually. At the, I thought I'd have a quick look at the video and, and see what we talked about last time. And last time we talked, it was snowing. I don't, <laughs> apparently yes. there was there was snow. I know. Not not that the weather's got much better, but mm -hmm. yeah. So we. I'm Rupert Kingston. I'm the creative director and co-founder of Delilah. Um, I started my career over 25 years ago as a makeup artist. So I, I came from a kind of uh, beauty fashion background and got into product development. We launched Delilah seven years ago. So this September the 1st, it will be seven years for Delilah, Gosh. which still in my mind makes us quite a young brand yeah. when you look at the oh, huge yeah. multinational brands that are out there. Yeah. Um, but uh, old enough to know better. We've, we've been around a while and we've, we've been doing it a little bit. So I and guess that, that's you, you, you and your wife, you started it together, is that right? So it's, it's myself and my wife, the mm. lovely Juliet as well, yeah, who's, at, who's at home today with the dogs. Uh, Hi, she's, she's, we're, 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 we're trying to give some, we're, some, we're in a brand new office in Marlow, which is really nice, but we're trying to sort of manage the office situation so there aren't mm. there aren't too many people in. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I guess, I guess with Delilah, there are three things that we both Focus on one is, is packaging. If anyone's ever tried mm. or any ever used yeah, or picked up Delilah, it's we beautiful. are set. Thank you. It's We're really obsessed beautiful. with making things. Thank you. Love we I we love just think colors. that makeup is, is the routine that women need to go through every morning. Mm. A lot of women do. So it, it should be pleasurable. You should love the products that, that you use in the morning or that mm. you carry around with you. Beautiful the second is our, our commitment to simplicity. Um, we don't do hundreds and hundreds of colours, Liz. I just, you know, yeah. as a makeup artist, I had hundreds of colours in my kit, but I think that actually real women just need a, a few great colours that work really well for them. Totally, um, that's so we, absolutely really that. my philosophy. You know, less is more. Let's find what works for us. And totally for me, great. you know, makeup, I love makeup because it, it's just the icing on the cake, isn't it? You know, the, the base yeah. is good skin and a lot of that comes from well-being and your lifestyle and your diet and things. But then once you get okay. that right, let's have a bit of fun. You know, we're, we're, we're allowed to play with it and it's really Absolutely. good. You've got, you've got this extension of this idea of an extension of your skincare. So using mm. the, the right routine and the right products to get that gorgeous glow, which we'll talk about today. But then mm. also using the right makeup products. And then we have that opportunity, as you say, to have fun. I was having a conversation on Friday about red lipstick, mm. by the way, um, just just um, with another journalist who was saying to me, you know, that is the one thing that I'm terrified of. Me too. Whenever I put it on. And oh, really? I, you will never see me wearing a red lip. And, you know, Kerry oh, September, who's made me up for years, <laughs> she tries bless her you know she, we'll, we'll be doing a cover shoot and you know she's like oh i think you should you know be rocking a red lip at the moment liz and, and she'll put it on and i'll think that's just not me and i'll you know it's run upstairs funny. and kind of tissue it down a bit and then she'll come back she said i Isn't can tell funny? that you've taken some of that off <laughs> <laughs> so what, what what's your feeling do you think that we should be bolder then and go for a red lip so look my, my feeling on lipstick in general is be as bold as you dare you know because i think you know the interesting thing about about buying lipstick is is women tend to go to a makeup counter and try loads of lipsticks on the back of their hand until they find the one that's exactly like the one they've got at home and then that's <laughs> the one that they buy right oh this is just like the one i've got at home i'll be taking one of those please um yeah. and i think that um lipstick can be a it can, it can lift your mood right if you can find a bright color yeah and wear a brighter color true. with some mascara very very quickly and easily yeah. you can look made up and and you know it, whether you like it or not sometimes you can go to a party and if you've picked up all the lipstick you'll get all these fantastic compliments people say yeah. oh my goodness that color's amazing on you you know is that fun is that yeah, it doesn't have to be a bright red does it it could be a really bright kind oh, of poppy okay. color or a coral oh, color pink. just something with a bit no, of zing Sure, like a, bright, a super bright pink or something like that can mm. be really good fun. And if you're scared of the lipstick, maybe pick a bright colour in a gloss instead. That's a good you idea. Know, just, just go for a brighter gloss colour to just mm. kind of get yourself there. Mm. And, you know, there are all these rules in makeup. You know, don't wear dark colours if you've got thin lips or this, that and the other. 
I, I like to kind of throw that out of the window and just say, look, do, you know, do what feels like you. If you put on a red lips, lipstick and it feels fantastic when you wear it, then yeah. wear it. Just wear it with confidence. Yeah, I, yeah so, I, I, I do admire people. I remember years and years ago, I interviewed Paloma Picasso. And, yeah. you know, she's got a really strong, striking look and, you know, very dark hair. She's, I think she is, she's completely Spanish or half Spanish. And she always wore this signature oh kind God. of like purple yeah. red. And it was just what she was known for. And, you know, you almost couldn't imagine her without it, really. Do you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something a bit daring, but I'm going to say it's a bit of a kind of Northern European thing. So I find mm. that sort of British women, and then also, you know, I've done a lot of work in Scandinavian countries as well, they're all a bit nervous about reds. Yeah. As soon as you kind of go to sunnier climes, right, you know, the Spanish yeah. women in the Italian and Greek and Cypriot and stuff, they're yeah. not scared of a little bit of colour. They're not scared scared to wear a bright red lip like that. Yeah. So, yeah, this this summer I'm going to com be convincing everybody to get on an orangey red lip. Okay, I think it's okay. So all right, Ch wear. challenge accepted. Let's, let, <laughs> let, let, let's do that next time, shall we? We'll have some fun with lips. <laughs> next time. Um, but you have really kindly sent some amazing bronzery type products and actually talking about being, you know, scared of trying things. I have to say bronzers and kind of getting a glowy look is something that does slightly unnerve me because I just, I'm right. used to doing my face and I just do it like this and that's it. And I, I don't tend and to, it looks great. well, thank you, but and, I don't tend to experiment and, and I'd love to look a bit more bronze because I obviously don't suntan my face. Where, where should we start if we're thinking about getting a bit of a glow? So do you know what? I'm gonna, again, I'm going to say something quite controversial here. Um, sometimes it can be fun. If you wear a very lightweight foundation, something that's almost like a tinted moisturiser, right. sometimes you can be a little bit braver to go half a shade darker with your foundations. Mm -hmm. the, cha the challenge with you sometimes using a little bit of a darker bronzer is you end up with these orange patches all over your face. Yeah, that, I don't that's want that. not what you want. No. And, and if you've got a foundation, and I, I happen to know that our shell foundation is a really good match for mm. you, but I was thinking yeah, today we might apply a colour that's a little darker. Have you got Ooh. pebble there? Yes. I have. So I've got shell and pebble. So let me just show them on the backs of my hands. Talk to us about the foundation because you've got titanium dioxide in here, which is an ingredient that I really like because it yeah. does give you a little bit of sun protection. Um, oh, in fact, it this is. says here, broad spectrum SPF 20. That's really good. SPF 20. And I think it's great to have an SPF built into your foundation because yeah. on so a daily basis, you're giving, your, you're giving yourself a little bit of protection. Um, and I have to say, a you know, very popular foundation this for us because it's that mm. light to medium coverage with a kind of dewy finish to it. So this you know, one's called that? Time Frame, if you're interested. Time Frame, yeah, okay, we so, have two. So the, yeah, go on, Which? what's the other one called? Uh, the other one is Alibi, which is a fuller coverage with more of a matte finish. Mm, but I wanted okay. to use Time Frame today just because it's uh, a lighter, fresher coverage. Um, uh, so and that's again, the just has that kind of dewy finish. So you'll see this pebble is much yellower. Can yeah, it is, isn't it? Do you see the difference? So okay. this absolutely mm. is my colour. That absolutely, yeah. you know, matches me. Yeah. So if I went and warmed it up just a little bit, so my base is just a little bit darker than my natural colour. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then also the key is going to be one of the brushes that I sent you, Liz. So Ooh. I sent you a very fluffy foundation brush. No, I've, I've really got the I've got these thing. two. Is it one of these? Okay, so the, so so the shorter, stubbier one. Yeah, oh, you've used that for foundation. Brush. I assumed it was a blusher brush. Exactly. Actually, no, no, it's no. it's a real. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of angled. It's like got a, a chisel. Yeah, exactly. Isn't exactly, that clever? Exactly I haven't that, noticed yeah, that. Yeah. So do I need to put it on with this then? Using, we're going to be using that angled edge like like a cushion. Yeah. Oh. So uh, so yeah. What I want you to do, yeah, really mix it into your brush first. Please. Really, really mix that colour in. Okay. So it's not sitting on the surface. Right. And do me a favour. Just just go on your forehead first. And let's have a let's have a quick look. Let okay. Me pop, let me yeah, pop a little yeah, bit more on. Yeah. Oh, that's pebble. I'm just checking. I'm using the pebble and not the not the shell. <laughs> right. So yeah, pick up nice sort of nice sort of colour here. Really, really, really mix it in. That's it. So okay. it's really pushed into the brush. Great. So, yeah. So great. that's all in there now. So exactly. Now we're going to get a Oh yes. Uh, I don't know whether you can see with these lights, but that is just that little bit. A little bit warmer. Just so a the bit key warmer. here is having a, a fluffier brush that is delivering the foundation a little slower onto your skin. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah, yeah, I think does. if you pumped it and put it on with your fingers, that'd be too much. Yeah, that would. But you can just 
buff this starting at the top of the face and just warming the top of the face up and then as you come down towards the jawline of course if you're wearing a warmer foundation you'll need a little bit buffed just just a little bit lower down as well because you don't Actually, want that, that jawline do you? you want to you don't want it to stop there just like a tide the mark jawline. to take it down we don't want the dreaded tide mark now yeah, exactly how many that. shades do you do because obviously be almost nothing on your brush when you come to the neck yeah Okay, so you start so here you, with um, more, in, um, and then by the uh, time you work down, you've got less on exactly. your brush. Oh, okay, clever. Exactly right. And it, and if you think about the way that you tan, it's the same. You would be a little warmer on your yeah, forehead. Yeah, you do. You get it here and first, And then lower don't down you? your face would be a little pepper. But mm. we're really mimicking that, that kind of glow that you would get. So nice. seven shades in time frame, because it's so translucent, Great. you know, you, you can go with a slightly warmer shade. And again, nice. this shade is pebble. Okay. And this is going to be a good color for you, Liz, as you mm. start to transition. If you continue to do your swimming in the sea, <laughs> making your way out. To the... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and, you know, getting a little... Getting, a little bit of sun onto your skin as your skin gets a bit warmer pebble yeah. would be a great shade for you so this is a nice place to great. start great okay good thank you got my base on and a bit of sun great. protection that so that's nice so okay. what's what's next then a liquid illuminator oh yeah is again. now is that pure light pure light halo mm, yeah this exactly one yeah that. yeah exact, exactly exactly what, what am i going to do with this so what we're going to do is um, just do, or what I would do is just apply a, a, um, oh, a little bit larger than a pinhead on the back of your hand with just a really, really small amount, just a, a fraction of a pump on the back okay, of your hand. A fraction of a pump. And that's a brand new one. So Yeah, I just need to so prime we'll, it. We'll sit and wait quietly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> yep, yep. That's go. possibly a little okay. bit too much, but there we go. Yeah, so I'll just dip take your finger in that. And, then, yep. and then dip somewhere else on your hand. So just tap yep. somewhere else on your hand. So tap yep. some on, then tap some off. Okay. Tap some on, then tap some off. Lovely. Top of the cheekbones now. So oh, right, okay, and here. That's a bit, that, yeah, exactly. Just tap oh. it on. And while your foundation is still a little moist, you should be able to blend those two colours together a little bit. Look at that. Lovely. Oh yes, yeah, just giving me a bit of a, a bit of a yeah. sheen, a bit of a kind of healthy. Exactly that. Again, I meet lots of customers who are nervous about liquid illuminator. How do I use it? Where do I where do I put it? You know, how do I apply it? Is it at the end of the makeup? But I think when you put your foundation on, foundation's mm. still a little bit moist. This is a great opportunity to just tap some of that colour in. Mm. And this brush, Liz, this brush is your best friend. If you put too much on, pick yeah. the brush back up and again stipple back over and blend those two together. Now that's nice, nice. from what we can see. Can it's like that? a nice glow on the cheekbone. Yeah, mm. lovely. Okay, so look, my top tip for illuminating like that. skin. Great. You should only really see it as you turn your face, right? What yeah. I don't like are those kind of scary, what, you know, sometimes you see people with this very yeah, well, these big stripes eye. here. You don't exactly. want to see it, yeah. you know, full on, do you? As you say, just no. as you move, it catches the light. Exactly. And that's mm. what we're getting. That's really, really nice. Yeah. Mm. So you can take a little. Sometimes it's nice just above the brow hair. I know that seems strange, oh, really? but we just have a, a little sort of just on the occipital bone here, just above the eye, just above the brow socket there. A little bit of highlight there. Oh, nice. Some people just take a little down the bridge of the nose or even on the tip of the chin. But yeah, that's it. Just a tiny, tiny amount like that. It nice. mixes beautifully with your moisturizer. You could have mixed a little bit in with your foundation. You can mix something with it. I know you don't wear primer usually, but if you if you do use the Delilah primer, you can mix a little yeah. bit with your primer. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, as we move into warmer weather, a little bit on the tops of the Ooh, shoulders. Oh, just a bit here. Because sometimes, just, you know, especially if you're wearing a nice piece of jewellery or whatever, just have a little bit on your collarbones. Exactly. Just, just, just mix it with your body moisturiser. Exactly. Oh, lovely idea. Up. Lovely tips. Thank you, Rupert. Just love that. I love, so I love products like that you can do more than one thing with. You know, multitasking, exactly. that's what it's all about. And hopefully we're demystifying liquid illuminators a little bit because it, it tends mm. to be a product that I find women are just a little bit nervous of. Where does this go? How yeah. do I use it? Because yeah. essentially it looks like a gold liquid and you think, oh, okay, this is going to look Yeah, but just scary. to give you that little youthful lift, I think is really, really that attractive. Looks that looks good. That, oh, looks that, really that, nice. that will be finding a permanent place in my bag. Thank you. <laughs> okay. okay, bronzer. Right. Bronzer. Bronzer. Okay, um, so we did use this last time, and I have to say, a few people have said to me, oh, when I watched your video with Liz, that tip that you gave her about starting her bronzer on her forehead, I've been doing that, that ever since. So, I, so 
This is a matte. So concept. which one is it? I, I've got I've got medium dark and pure yeah, light medium. brightening powder. So we're doing medium dark bronzer. The bronzer, okay. Compact matte bronzer. Exactly. Medium dark. And that's what it looks like, guys. Okay. And I'm going to get you to to pick up the other brush that we sent you. Lovely. Um, this which one. Is a real that's it. It's a really nicely done. Your brushes brush. are so soft. Honestly, if I was Thank feeling you. stressed, I just want to sit and stroke my face, actually. And that's often what I do when I'm sitting at my, <laughs> sitting at my But computer. you've got a beard for those people who are watching on Facebook <laughs> and YouTube. Does it still work over a beard? <laughs> of course they do. 100% vegan, I have to say. Really? As Delilah Brady, Super 100% soft. vegan. Lovely. These are not animal fibres. We do mm. no animal testing. There are no animal byproducts in anything. Um, and they are I'll super, and super soft. <laughs> and you can just clean them with hand soap, please. Actually, nice. like a little bit of okay. hand soap. Yeah, just, just here. Uh -huh. rinsed, and, rinsed and squeezed out. Mm. Let them dry on the side of a table. And they will last right. you for years. Nice. Yeah, they feel really well made, actually. You tell when you pick them up. It's, Thank you. it's really yeah. solid. There's a nice balance to them in the hand, yeah. right? They feel yeah. nice to hold. Lovely. Nice okay, investment. So let, mm. Let's do some bronzing. Okay. So what you're going to do, a little sweep into your bronzer. Sweep and what into I always say is, do, now what I want you to do is press your brush in the mirror. Press it in the mirror. You press it in, in the, the mirror? mirror yeah, press it in. Okay, so here's the mistake that, that women make. When they dip their... their their makeup brush in their makeup, all yeah. the makeup is sitting on the surface of the brush. Yeah. So when you touch your face, you deliver a lot of product. Yeah, to loads of it, and that's why I don't like. Right. So dip it in your, tap it into your mirror. That's oh. it to push that color a little bit deeper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can now see that now. It's gone further skin, on. Exactly. We're not going to put a lot of bronzer in one place, and we're going to start, like I told you before, in a little rainbow shape along your hairline. Okay, up here. Uh, yeah. That's it, along the hairline. I love That's that. I love it. your expressions, rainbow shape, creating a rainbow <laughs> shape on my forehead. I've been doing it. I've been doing it a long time. <laughs> I've been describing makeup a very long time. Finding that language is, is, is so Great. important. Yeah, look at that. That's gone on beautifully. Yeah, and doesn't um, look too scary. Course, just looks like I've got a bit of sun. Well, it's not orange. That's no, what it's it. not you orange. Know, some bronzers, they're so red. You know, mm -hmm. they're going to have that sort of terracotta undertone to them. Mm. You know, go something with more of a bronzy colour. Okay, little, a little tap in, a little tap in, a little tap on your mirror. And doing on your cheekbone, we're going to start before. at the back here. So we're Start at the back. I always start at the front. I know. I've been and doing then, it all wrong. That, we end up with this sort of orange <laughs> Yeah, big blob right? here. Yeah. Okay, start at the back. We always mm. bronze from the back of the face forward. So sweeping ah. backwards and along the cheekbone look at that perfect looks yeah, great on a guy it. i mean do guys use these products i mean i can imagine that your makeup's so light the foundation with the uh, brush uh, do you know what i have to say so our primer uh, uh, our matte foundation we do a lot mm. of male grooming with these you know even mm. for guys you know who are getting married these days corporate headshots or even just you know yeah. for a little bit of confidence yeah, yeah. absolutely they work so even really your well. skin tone why not i'm i'm I have to say i'm all for it i'm not well, quite like me a, a uh, metrosexual man is confident Good enough point. to have a bit of bronzer. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's it. That's right, how okay, I want so you to start now, there. Now you can just kind of connect that together now, Liz. You know what? Just in the join up my there, rainbow. Just, just join up to your rainbow, exactly. And then what? What's left on your brush? We always go under the jawline a little bit as well. So yeah. just warming that up. This area never gets any sun. This little semicircle is always mm. a little paler. Yeah. Always take a bit of bronzer there. And now just down the bridge of the nose because you would get some colour there. Yeah, you would. Now, on camera, to me, it looks like you're we're building this nice warm bronze yeah. glow to the skin. Yeah, I can see that. I've got my, my big mirror here on my dressing table. Yeah, I can absolutely yeah, see that. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Yeah, that's I feel more really confident good. already. I can look in the mirror and go, I look really healthy. I look really well. Good. well I hope you're going somewhere glamorous this afternoon. Uh... A wet, windy Monday afternoon in the West Country. It's not know, actually it's... happening, but you know, hey, know. this is good practice for hopefully later in the, the week. Do you know, I don't know what you think about this, but something that I was taught on a shoot long time ago was you take a little bit of your, your bronzer like this, if it's the right colour, and if you're wearing something a bit low cut, you can just do a little bit here. And it just that. kind of gives you a little bit of emphasis a on your cleavage. A little bit of shape. 
It's what we like, a little okay, bit of shape. Right. So and, you, beca and because so also your skin you tone often little... changes, because you might be a little bit darker here from exactly, years of yeah. a bit of sun, but yeah. if you are wearing something lower, you yeah. can end up with this kind of triangle of, of paler skin. So just, just filling it in, yeah, really. Yeah, nice idea. <laughs> and then also like a little windscreen wiper shape, right? Just a little windscreen wiper. Well, oh, windscreen wiper you know, shape. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I remember that, that when I'm wearing my strapless <laughs> number. <laughs> Quite right, too, yeah. Very good. Okay, that looks fantastic. Yeah, feeling um, good. So feeling listen, good. look, lo lo what we're going to do now is we're going to just a little bit of the illuminating powder. So it's a similar compact, but this yeah, is the pure this light. Yeah, that's it. The pure light illuminating powder. So this has got some blush colour in it, and it's got a little bit of illuminator colour, mm. illuminating pigments in as well. So again, I, I would dip your finger in and have a little test on the back of your hand okay. here, so you can see what's going to happen. You see, it's not. Oh, it's pinker than, than it looks, but it's it's very exactly. pretty. It's. I wonder yeah, if you can see. Let me pop a little uh, bit more on so you can see properly. It's you, you know what we're trying not to do is something that that's that what here? we don't want is glitter. We want that light reflective no. quality that's not doesn't feel. I love glittery. all that bouncing the light. Exactly. So where am I going to put this one? Just a quick question. Somebody's asking about different shades of the bronzing powder. This one's obviously medium dark. Have you got yeah. a darker shade for somebody who's a bit darker skinned? No, the medium. So the light medium and the medium dark. Okay. You layer up that medium. You can dark, layer it, it up. Will go it will Layer go much, it to go much dark. Only use a tiny bit. It on you. Great. Yeah, yeah, it will go much, much warmer than we've. And this on one system. is presumably for all skin tones because it's that no, illumination. I've also got, I've got a gold, I've got a more gold-based one called Aura. So if you're a warmer or a darker skin tone, something okay, that's not so pink and not so cool. The other colour is called Aura. Okay. And it is a warmer, more golden colour that's going to work better with kind of warmer skin tones okay. as well. Great, so I'm going to yeah. use the paler one here. Where, where am I going to pop this one? Okay, same same brush, same bronzer brush again. Same brush, okay. Dipping in a little, and our little trip where we just press okay. into the mirror, just using our mirror like a little a little palette. I'm going to think of you and every what? time I do this, you know. I'm sure there'll be thousands of ladies up and down the country thinking of you. Pressing their into their mirrors. Pressing into the mirrors, me. yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what you're going to catch is is the kind of front, the front of the cheek here, and sweep back. So we're going the opposite way to our bronzer. Okay, right? so that so went that way. Are, this is going that yeah, way. This time we're going to catch a little at the front and go very lightly here, Liz, just using the, the tip of the brush and sweeping back up the cheekbone, just like that. Perfect. That's enough. Ooh, oh, oh yes, enough. I can just That's see enough. it. That's wow. <laughs> Um, no, somebody know. asked me. Somebody asked me the other day, "What is what is the the mistake that most women make with their makeup?" And my answer is, women wear lots of just a few products. And actually, what professional makeup artists do is a little bit of of lots of, of lots of products, right? And you know that because you've yeah. had your makeup done so many times. Yeah. So finding That's that true. kind of routine where you don't mind using a few more products, you're getting quicker and using less of those products. And You'll actually, they, they do lot. last as well. So, you know, it's like I yeah. often will have two foundations on the go and I'll mix them together. And, you know, it's a bit right. more of an outlay to start with, but actually they last twice as long. So, you know, exactly. you, you kind of just yeah. wear it up, really. It's a bit of an investment, but then you've got them exactly. to dip into exactly right. and not use them up exactly. so quickly. You know, I think that interestingly, I find if you've got too much makeup on, it tends to come off a bit quicker. I mean, mm. you know, the, some formulations just aren't built to be applied that heavily. So when you've got right. a few different products and you layer them up, you'll yeah. actually find it, it lasts a little totally bit Totally right. Well. You know, if, if I spend a little bit of time with lots of different things on my face and I'll use different concealers and different kind of just like sort of shaders mm. and things, I, I've done it and I forget about it. And in the evening, I'll come to think, oh, well, I've just been to pop a bit more on because I'm going out or whatever. I it's look at my right. face and I think, actually, do you know what? It looks fine. It's because it survived yeah exactly yeah this looks lovely what you've done How, i mean it's it's interesting you know because obviously you're on my phone so you're a little bit smaller I'm small but it, you look, <laughs> it looks really nice though i love this little bit of illumination this i have to say that, that and also that it's really cheerful busy. isn't it we all need right. a bit of a lift it's and just you know you just it makes you smile fun. when you think that your skin is glowing and you just I don't know, you've just spent a little bit of time on yourself. So we're just starting to see other people as well, just at the weekend. Hallelujah. 
moving out. So, you know, a few of us got together for some drinks, Fabulous. finally. Fabulous. Right? And it's so nice yeah. to just kind of get a little bit dressed up and just go out and see people. Completely. I, and, I put high know, heels on for the first time in about a year on Saturday. And I have I a blister <laughs> now on my foot, but never mind. <laughs> it's worth it. I, we've all, I think we've all kind of learned over lockdown that we're wearing a little less makeup now anyway, right? A lot of people not wearing foundation every day and have fallen back. Yeah, but I think you do need not... it when you go out, especially. I think, you know, in, I think what we're forgetting about makeup is not just about vanity. You know, for the skin particularly, it's about creating that environmental shield and, Absolutely. you know, it protects you if you're in an urban environment. It's protecting you from pollution and car exhaust Whatever. fumes and all of that. And, of course, of the course. sun, because, you know, yeah. makeup is essentially mineral. And that's giving you that invisible veil of, of sun protection. Right. Yes, exactly right. And, the, you know, the, the formulations are so much more advanced now. We're not carrying those True. heavy sort of petrochemical oils or those yeah. animal fats that, you know, yeah. we're, we're using in the makeup in the kind of 60s, 70s and 80s. We just don't see them in cosmetics anymore. So they're not kind of blocking the skin. You know, you're, you're exactly right. Yeah. yeah. And it's good um, for the skin. But I think it, Actually, and I think it's also, think you know, it's we've used a few products on your face here, but if you just want to use, and, and Lena, if you're going to invest in a liquid illuminator or a powder illuminator, yeah. you're using a tinted moisturizer now, you're recreating that lovely glow again, you know. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the way that makeup should look now. So, yeah, yeah that looks great. So, it's so funny, so I've got my um, LED mask sitting on my bed because I, I, I use it at night and somebody says it looks like an alien sitting in my bed. <laughs> 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 there has been a bit of chat about aliens, hasn't there, this weekend? But I know I promise you, I haven't had the alien landing here in the West Country. Not no, yet, anyway. Not visiting you. <laughs> um, and what about blusher? Do we do we then put a blusher on the top, or do we just leave it like this? No, let's let's do some blush. Um, mm, so okay. I, I don't know what your reaction is going to be to the blusher that I've sent you, Liz, but it's orange. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> there we are. I'm I'm game. I, I I trust you implicitly. This okay. one is called Clementine. Oh, I guess like like the little fruit. Clementine. And it's you know with bronze skin, look at the more corally blushes. They okay. can be absolute absolutely beautiful. And this is the other thing about blushes is they're nowhere near as bright on the skin as they look in in the palette. That's you know? true. I used to have a bright orange one. I mean it's discontinued. It was a brand from LA called Stila. And oh, uh, do you remember Stila oh, Iconic? You know, one oh, of the very oh, first great, makeup brands. What a great brand. Great yeah. brand. Great and I had it for yeah. years. And honestly, I kid you not, it was a cream blusher. But you looked at it and it was day glow orange. And you take one look at it and you go, there's no way that that's going to work on my skin. But a little bit, you're right, they do. They really kind of little, tone down, bit, don't they? It's a, and it's a makeup artist trick again. You know, the makeup artist will always pick up a brighter blusher and you think... Oh wow! You know, is this is this going to yeah. work? And as soon as it goes on, there's there's that lift because yeah. there's that youthful flush to the skin. You know, mm. what happens as we get older, we're losing that that kind of youthful flush that we get to the cheek, and the skin True. starts to look a little bit more grey. It does as we get older. <laughs> totally, skin exactly. goes grey. Yeah. So you're just using those kind of brighter blushes just on the corner of the cheek to just lift a little bit. I'm, okay, I'm so sure where, where exactly, <laughs> tell me, because I'm nervous now about this one, same where exactly do I, do I put it? So the same, okay, same brush? Right. Actually, let's, you're, you're right, because, because finding the right place to put your blushes is a big, big challenge. Mm. All right. So in, in the 80s, we used to do the go faster stripe, right? Yeah, and yeah. we would do the, fi <laughs> we'd do the fish face, wouldn't we, in the 80s? Like, mm, mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. No. So in the nineties, in the nineties, they used to do the apple of the cheek. So you. I was always taught that. that. Okay, yeah. that, that's okay. I always think it, you, it looks a bit like you've been jogging, though. You know, because you've kind of got these rosy. Yeah, yeah, little apples. rosy cheeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So the mod, it's somewhere in between those two spots, and if you use two fingers yeah. and find the corner of your cheekbone, yeah, and it's usually exact. Okay, if, in between your two fingers, there is where you're gonna. Put your brush up. Oh, really? Your brush like Absolutely. Here. You're going to skim the corner of the cheekbone there, and you're going to skim very, very lightly. So, so do I tap then, my mirror, mirror again? Tap your mirror, Liz. Okay, I'm learning. Great. I'm learning. And then just I'm catch learning. the corner. Catch the corner there, yeah, and sweep back. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And now you can start to work it back a little bit. Yeah. And you can even... You can even sneak a little bit. If you want to come around the front, and you've got some, uh, some space to come back towards the nose, but you're starting around this area here, and it mm. gives you enough room to 
to get it in exactly the right spot. Beautifully applied. Perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. A bit nerve wracking, isn't it, doing it with a professional? It's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so it's going Just here. touching a little there. Good. Good. Tapping in that corner and then sweeping back and then again just checking your checking your symmetry in the mirror if you yep. need to bring it a little bit towards the nose so that they look yep. the same. And then I always say so pretty, this, that foundation brush is, this foundation brush is your best friend because if you think it looks too much or one's up here and one's down there, come back to your foundation brush, yeah. have a little buff again, okay. buff it just over, the, that's it, work it all together, blend it all together, perfect. perfect. I love that. There's no harsh lines. You can't really see where you know natural skin begins right. and colour ends, which is what you want, isn't it? Right, so yeah, there should be no seam between our bronzer, our illuminator, our blusher. They should all blend together. Is that mm. really natural? Glow. That looks really pretty. Excellent. Yeah, that looks really, really I'm going to have to find well somewhere done. to go now, you know. Okay, so listen, here's my, my last tip. Go on. A tiny bit of that blush on the tip of your nose. Be careful with this at home. Be careful with this at home. Don't get this wrong. Okay. A tiny, just a smallest, smallest amount. And I'll tell you why. When you've been out in the sun and you're fresh back off the beach, you've been walking the dogs, mm. the end of your nose gets a little bit of sun, of colour on it, mm -hmm. and it gives you that sun-kissed glow. So this is a real makeup artist trick. And when, we do, when we're do, when doing shoots away with kind of models, it's bikini shoots or something, yeah. we shoot the models out somewhere exotic. They're not tanned yet, so yeah. we're faking the tan for them. We're yeah. shooting them. We always used to take a little bit of cold mm. colour, a tiny bit of cold colour, just and on just the tip here. of the nose. Just You're so it right. It just looks right. as if I've been on a lovely beach it's, walk. It's cute, isn't it? It's cute. <laughs> it but is a cute look. Be careful with that at home. I don't want to see any pink. We're not talking red nose day here, no, we're are we? We're not talking Rudolph here. <laughs> no, we're not talking Rudolph. That looks really nice. Well done. And Love you've been it. very brave because I've given you illuminating products no, and oranges and... You've given really me a lot. Too. I know that there's lots of chat. Before, uh, before we go, there's been some chat about these lovely things. People are really enjoying okay, yeah. your, your crayons. Yeah, thank you. You know, uh, eyeshadow is the, I think, the most challenging thing uh, yeah, in a woman's that, makeup that. routine. Yeah, is, is that colour, is that pink champagne? Yeah, just put that on the this back one, of your yeah, No, this, this one is um, not chocolate. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate, I'm sorry, I haven't got my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Although not chocolate is a great name. Yeah, for it's not chocolate. It's eyeshadow. See how see how soft that is. I love they, things they that just don't don't beautiful. drag. And so pink uh, champagne. I'd be worried about champagne. using a pink on my eyes. Such a great color. It's pink not champagne. That pink. Here we go. It's not. It's like a minky color. It's really pretty. Yeah, yeah. It's really pretty. Oh yeah, yeah. it is. A nice nude sandy color. And actually, you can just mm. go all over the eyelid with it. Just scribble it on the eye. Blend with a finger. Um, you know, and just as long as you scribble that colour on, use a finger to blend really, yeah. really quickly. Colour wash over the eye. Yeah, it's a nice kind of sandy tone. Um, oh, and that they is are pretty. Waterproof. That yeah. has, and they're waterproof, did you say? They're waterproof. Oh. Yeah, well, this is the problem sometimes with like these that. cream eyeshadows is they shift around a little bit, you know. So you need something that's going to stay in place. So these will be great eventually when we get that warm June that yes. they're promising us. Yeah, these these will go on and these will stay in place as well. Nice. Or anybody heading off? What was it? How many? There's ten thousand or something heading off to Spain today. I read. Oh, is that right? So yeah, where you can right? actually go in the sea and sun. I love that. You know, I like that little bit of a pinky tone because I've obviously got brown eyes, but yeah. it kind of brings the the brown out. And I've yeah, also right. seen sort of, a pinky tone. Yeah, that, yeah, the minky, exactly. minky pink, um, but it also minky. works really well on pale colours, pale blue eyes. Great with blue eyes, great with green eyes. That, that, like I said right at the beginning, you know, we've worked really hard at simplifying yeah. colour. Yeah, I love and, it. And, um, you know, any, any of your followers who are makeup artists will know we have colours in our kit that we just use all the time. Yeah. You know, they, they're the colours that we just, they're the go-to colours for us. Mm. And so when we're putting Delilah together, I was like, okay, those are going to be the colours that we just, we use all the time, that yeah. work on lots of skin tones, mm. you know, so keeping it simple. And then there's a little sharpener. If anyone has bought those, don't Ooh. forget, folks, if you pull the pull the end out, pull the colour off, there's a little pencil sharpener. No, oh. where? In, in here? Yeah. So, so pull the other end, pull the colour end, there you go. That's a little pencil sharpener there. Look. Yeah. Yeah. 
and then you can sharpen it with this. You can, you can sharpen it, you can keep it clean. Yeah, because sometimes it's nice to sort that of... That is so you know, clever. ...very close to the lashes. Oh, yes. Exactly, yeah, yes, yes, to do it. I mean, I sometimes go up, you know, even kind of under here sometimes. Um, exactly. And you need a little sharp point to do that. Yeah, so you, you do. Or, or underneath sharp. here. Exactly. Oh, I could sit and play for days, honestly. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> and I do. It's my job. Are you getting back to work now? Are you getting back to shoot some things? What's it like? So we did. We um, have shot some new uh, video recently, um, which will be. And, and we, it, it's you know, we still have to be COVID secure, you know. So we're still using masks. We're still using face mm. shields a little bit. I'm doing um, a webinar tonight with a lot of our stockists as well. Just a training webinar this nice. evening. Yeah. Um, you know, retail is still a little bit strange. So, you know, Fortnum and Masons, our team in Fortnum and Masons are still, they're helping customers, but we're mm -hmm. not, we're not putting hands on, on faces yet. You know, yeah. we're, we're still kind of sticking to those rules, yeah. but there is a way to be safe and, and go into those environments. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. I'm looking forward to, to heading up to town a bit later on to do exactly that. And this yeah. little thing, brow shape, quick mention, love this one. Yes. How nice neat is this? Do you see this? Yeah. Look at the size of that. It's tiny wee. Quick, easy, just groom the brows through, give them a little bit of colour. A little bit of colour. Yeah. It's amazing what difference actually having a slightly darker shade of eyebrow makes. I think especially as we age, because our you know eyebrows naturally get darker and they can get flecks of grey as well. Yeah, yeah. And I like the fact um, that it just keeps them up. It brushes them upwards, so it lifts the eyes. You know, and I, and I, so when I was in, 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 when I was a makeup artist in the 90s, we never used to put anything on the eyebrows. In fact, we Isn't would tweeze amazing? them matchstick thin. We'd tweeze them matchstick thin, or we would bleach them. And I've, and I've watched this sort of shift Bleaching from it, almost eyebrows. ignoring eyebrows to eyebrows becoming very, very important. Yeah, to brows are the thing. Being a bit scary, and now we're coming back to that kind of fluffy, soft, natural yeah. brow again. No, I mean, my, my girls, you know, who are, who are 20 and 30, you know, they, when they get ready, they talk about putting their brows on. And, you know, and that was never my language when I was their age going out. I would never right. think about, you know, putting my it, eyebrows it, on. It's a thing. And it does make thing. such a difference. Mm. And as a makeup artist, it's lovely that we're paying attention to that part of the face. Mm. But again, I think you, you can be nervous about doing too much. So having something that's got a little bit of colour that you can sweep through the brow yeah. nice and quickly... It's not going to look too scary. Yeah. Um, it's a great product to have in, in, in your makeup. Design. And last but not least, I think you've sent me another one of these, but this is actually the one that I use. Um, it is... Is, is that Minx? Is, uh, I actually, I, Minx. I think I, I've got Jewel here, but I do use Minx. I use Minx and Jewel. I love your you lip Jewel. glosses. Jewel is a little bit more bronzy. Just ah, that's why. Our... Okay, I was getting confused, yeah, because Minx is the one I think that I've got at the moment. So let's just This finish. is a little bit more, a little bit more bronzer. A little, a little bit warmer, just to go with our peachy, bronzy glow today. This is a great kind of signature spring to summertime look. Yeah, a little bit of a sandy eye. Yeah, fantastic. Lovely. Oh, I should be doing my this morning slot now. Now. Now, yeah. not earlier, because <laughs> now I kind of just look all bronzed and ready. <laughs> we'll work that out next time. We will. We'll when have we to do. do... The red lip, we're With the red, I'm not sure about this red lip. Okay, we'll 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 we'll, we'll talk about that off off we'll air, see. shall we? We'll there see. we go. Look at that. Thank you. I need to uh, kind of ruffle my hair up now. Go all beachy. You know, when I do makeup training with makeup artists, I always say to them, you know, if you get to the end and your customer shushes her hair, she loves her makeup. No you way. Know she loves her makeup because she does the shush, <laughs> right? Yeah. I love that. Well, I love it. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your oh, generous so discounts. Uh, we, we love you. Everybody loves you here. And Thank you. We're Thank already you. talking. We're going to have to check our diaries for next year because I'm really hoping that we could do like a Lizard Wellbeing Live, an actual right. live event. In real life. In real life. And how amazing would that be? <laughs> so, that would be loads of Anyway, fun. Yeah. but yeah, let's, seriously, let's get a date in the diary to do, to do lips. And I promise to be to brave. Do. Really? Oh, that would be fantastic. Let's yeah. do that then. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, we've recorded this as well. so Oh, no. Said, There's no getting away <laughs> I said <from> it now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. What a lovely start to the week. Uh, have a great rest of the week. Thank you for I your time. You too. Thank Thanks you. Take so care.
Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> Oh my goodness, wasn't that so much fun? I can't believe how just golden I look. I mean, and seriously, it's just starting to rain again. I don't know whether you can hear it. <laughs> it is not golden out there. I should not be looking like this, seriously. Um, thank you, Rupert. And don't forget that Liz Loves, all in capitals, gets you 20% off your single products rather than the sets. But do take a look at their website. Um, so before I go, just to say, yes, my, my lovely alien mask. I think don't think you can see it. Let me just do a quick flick around. Um, yeah, that's that's the alien mask that everybody's seeing on, on Facebook. My bedside friend, uh, obviously very expensive, uh, but totally works, I have to say. Um, but that is my daughter's company. So um, that has come with a, a hefty... Uh, uh, interest disclaimer there but I do genuinely rate it but they are I think they're £1,899 I mean like best part of £2,000 but we do get Liz Love so we do get 10% discount off but one lucky person is going to win one so if you've got your magazine I hope that you've entered the competition because there we go look there's Lily with her pink hair um, and yeah and as I said last time I mentioned this you know somebody has to win it isn't that amazing? It's totally free to enter competition. You just literally go to the website and click enter. That's it. Um, and yeah, it is the most powerful LED near infrared mask on the market. And she's had amazing success stories actually talking not only about the, the skin mask and with the conditions like rosacea um, as well as aging, but also the hair, the alpha hair ray. Really, really interesting stories. And I know thinning hair is an issue for a lot of people. So go to cellreturn.co.uk and you can read all about it if you are interested. Right, a few quick questions before I head off. Yes, I am wearing my wild rose. So this is my rose gold. Good job I'm in rose gold, isn't it? Because I'm all rose goldy in the face. 25% uh, off all the wild rose. Uh, this is, I just think, iconic, this little, this little rose. I wear it a lot, as you probably noticed. Um, you don't need a code. That's just on the website at the moment. Um, so... Uh, okay, so a couple of quick questions. Somebody talking about uh, HRT, of course, going to their doctor tomorrow. Um, progesterone. Uh, okay, so yeah, if you have a, a, a womb, basically, if you still have your uterus, haven't had a hysterectomy, you'll need progesterone because that protects the womb, okay? Um, you need to read my e-guide, The Truth About HRT. If you're going to your GP tomorrow, give it a quick download. It's on the website. Um, because there's lots of information there. And I don't know if you heard my podcast with Louise Newson. And I think it was, maybe it was it last Friday. Honestly, the days blur into one. But do take a listen to that as well, because she talked really honestly about what GPs want to hear. So she's been a GP for nearly 30 years, working in the world of menopause, obviously, most recently. And she really set it out from the GP's perspective. And that was really helpful, I thought, because often we talk about our perspective as a patient. But, you know, if you've only got that 10 minute appointment, you know, let's make the best of it. So please be prepared. It's always about being prepared, isn't it? You know, prepare, prepare, prepare. And, you know, if you fail to prepare, prepare to fail. That's, you know, that is a real truism. So, yeah, do your preparation. Read my guide. Listen to that podcast from last Friday. And I'm sure there'll be information there that will really help you. So good luck with that. Um, fish oils. Okay, this is Leslie on Instagram. Yeah, so EPA and DHA, what's the difference? So basically, they are both forms of essential fatty acids. They're both really important. But DHA is the one that is most associated with brain health and cognitive function and all sorts of you know, activities, you know, depression, ADHD, all of that. Lots and lots of studies on DHA in particular. Um, so you need to make sure that you have a good source of DHA. And that's the reason why I don't recommend the vegan supplements that are based on flaxseed. Because although they contain omega-3s, uh, they don't convert. They have ALA, and that's supposed to convert to EPA and DHA. I know it's confusing. But the flaxseed does not convert well. So although it contains it, you don't actually get your DHA from flax. So if you don't want to have a fish oil source, then you need to go for an algae source. Okay, so either algae or fish oils. And take a look at the bare biology 
I did a, a, a podcast, um, no, it was an IGTV Live, wasn't it, last Wednesday, I think. So it'll still be up on Facebook or, or Instagram or YouTube with the founder of Bear Biology. Really interesting about the different strengths and how much you need and what it can help with. And we have a Liz Loves from them, so you get money off as well. So it's really good. They have a liquid, which actually I give my kids now because they're not very good with capsules, so liquids are are the way. Um, okay, another question about that actually um, on Instagram there. So yeah, hopefully that is that is helpful. Last question here, okay, from Mary on YouTube, but hopefully this will be something that will help a lot of people because I did see a comment on Instagram about it this morning. Um, saying, is there a problem going back on HRT at 71 after stopping it maybe 15 years or so ago? Uh, I don't seem to be able to find much about this. Um, no, the short answer is no. <laughs> Obviously, in practice, you may find some difficulty. It depends what kind of pushback you get from your GP. It's much easier to go back onto it if you've previously taken it. So my mum, for example, she went back onto HRT aged 80 and she's now 82 and she's doing really well on it. And I, for me, as her you know, close dependent uh, and potential caregiver, I'm extremely pleased that she is now replacing her estrogen because we know that it's protective for bones, osteoporosis, coronary heart disease, dementia, Alzheimer's. You know, there are lots and lots of studies happening in these areas. So I am delighted. She's delighted. She's sleeping really well. Um, so she didn't have much of an issue. I have to say she did have to go to three different doctors before she found one confident enough to prescribe it. But having said that, you know, that was a couple of years ago. And even in these two short years, I think we've moved on a long way. And I think GPs are really beginning to, to realise that the benefits so far outweigh the tiny, tiny risks, even for older women. Um, and of course, the menopause charity doing such amazing work. Isn't that incredible that they've given free training now to over five and a half thousand practitioners? So there'll be over five and a half thousand more medics, GPs, practice nurses. Yeah, loads of hearts coming for that. Um, so more women will be helped. So that's the long answer. The short answer is no, there shouldn't be an issue, particularly if um, you've already had it and had no issue with it. And of course, we know that modern forms of transdermal um, estrogen gel and patches are so super safe. Um, and it may have been that you were on the old type, you know, previously. If you are in your 70s and 80s and you're looking at taking replacement hormones for the first time ever, then I suspect that your medical practitioner will be a little bit more hesitant. But you can ask to start with a really small dose. And just remember that you are replacing your natural hormones. You're not doing anything that's artificial, you're not taking a synthetic medicine that's different from what's in your body. You're just replacing what was there, but now isn't because we're living a bit longer. So you can really ask to try. You can be, you know, really polite, really calm, really considered and say, you know, I've read up about it and I'd like to try this. And, you know, absolutely fine if you want to monitor me, but I'd like to do, you know, a three month trial, a six month trial on a low dose. I think the gels are good because you can adjust the dose. Whereas if you have patches, then you're obviously, I mean, unless you stick on two patches or whatever, you know, it's very difficult to increase or decrease the dose. I mean, some women do cut their patches in half or they have, you know, double, triple patches, you know, whatever. But it's much harder to do that. Whereas what I like about the gels is that you can adjust it according to how you feel. But download the Balance app. It's a free app. It's on, uh, on all of the app stores. And it's Balance Menopause, and it's uh, you can use it wherever you are in the world. I know many of you are tuning in from overseas, so hi if you're watching from overseas. You can get it globally, and it has a great symptom tracker, so you can keep track of where you are, and you can monitor. So you can monitor before you have any form of um, you know hormone replacing, and then of course you can continue to monitor and and see you know track improvements or changes because HRT is not one size fits all. You know it varies lots of different types, lots of different doses. You may be lucky, you may get it right first time, you know, bingo, that's fantastic. But it, you know, you may not, you, you may need to have a few months of tweaking and changing. Um, so I hope that answers your question. Uh, lots of lovely comments. Um, I will uh, perhaps screenshot some of these and read them out on my podcast on Friday because I, I tend to read out a lot of reviews and things from the week. So thank you very much for keeping those. Um, can A quick question, can HRT increase your anxiety? I've not heard of that. Uh, I've actually heard the opposite, that it reduces anxiety. I've done a podcast that I did with Dr. Rebecca Lewis 
about oestrogen and reducing the anxiety because it replaces the oestrogen that's been missing in the brain. Um, but again, it could be dose and type. So, you know, you might, might need to, um, to play around with that. Uh, just one last thing. I keep saying one last thing. It's because I keep seeing all the, the questions coming in. This was on my shake, the green shake that I made. That's on uh, Instagram. I think I also put it up on YouTube saying, am I missing lots of benefits if I substitute whole milk for oat milk? Um, I don't particularly like oat milk. I, you know, I, I prefer whole milk because it has all the fat soluble vitamins. So you're getting your vitamins A and D and E and iodine and all sorts of other things. Um, but yeah, sure, you know, you can use any kind of, you know, plant substitute if you want to. Um, I don't think you need to buy oat milk. I think you can make it really easily. You literally just soak some oats in some water and that makes oat milk, you know, milk. That's, you know, just because it's a white liquid, they call it milk. Um, but yeah, so I think that that would be that would be worth doing if you want to try it. Let me know. Leave me a comment. Uh, just to say lots of new things up on YouTube. So do make sure that you're subscribed to the Lizard Wellbeing YouTube channel. I'll be popping up some more things there tomorrow as well. And uh, and of course, on Thursday, I do my weekly blog or vlog rather, I should say, because it's a video log. Um, and make sure that you're signed up to the newsletter that will come out on Friday. So Friday is always a key day for us here at Liz Our Wellbeing. You get your free newsletter, you get your Friday Five podcast. I do my IGTV live. I am back with you live. Gosh, I've just realized the time. Sorry, I've been burbling on for over an hour. Thank you for staying with me. Um, Wednesday will be a great, great chat. So Wellbeing Wednesday, I'm going to have none other than the award-winning consultant cardiologist, Dr. Asim Malhotra in the house. And we're going to be talking about fats. So we're going to be talking about the myth of the risk of saturated fat in your diet. We're going to be talking about cholesterol. And this is a qualified consultant cardiologist talking. OK, so again, it's all evidence based. Love it. We might even touch on statins. Um, so, yeah, so there'll be lots and lots of healthy well-being chat. So Makeup Monday, bit of fun to start the week. We're going in with a deep dive on something a bit more medical um, on Wednesday. And then more fun on Friday. I've got some Friday fun, which I shall reveal perhaps a little bit later. I don't want to do too many spoilers for now. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for all your hearts. Thank you for comments. Lovely to have you all. Um, gosh, so much to say, isn't there? Always. That's the thing about well-being, you know, that you can well-being, you can go in so many different directions, you know, whether you're talking about, you know, health and mental health or hormone health or, or you know, physical health, whether we're talking about skin and skin issues or whether we're just having a bit of fun, you know, as I say, with the icing on the cake with a bit of makeup. It's all about increasing our well-being and our mood and how we feel and our self-esteem and all of that. So anyway, on that positive note, I shall love you and leave you. And, um, oh, I need to go and have a stretch now and a cup of tea, I think. So I shall look forward to seeing you live on Wednesday, sending you lots of hearts back. Thank you for being with me. Take care. Have a lovely rest of your day. Enjoy the week. Bye-bye.